Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farm. It is now early June. I decided to progress through uh, the rest of uh, May. Contract wise, all there was <laughs> were grass jobs. I didn't realise there were that many meadows on this map. So many meadows for cotton. I think 22 at one point, 21, 22 baling jobs. And we do enough <laughs> grass work on our dairy farm. I thought, you know what, we don't need to be trying to do that to earn money as well. So, we are now in June, and our uh, barley fields that we purchased are ready to harvest. The the smaller one, the one that we did ourselves, that's not quite ready. But I thought we'd come up here quickly, we're up early, it's, it's now, well, it's nearly 7 o'clock now. I'm hoping. This manure, there we go. I'm going to top up our greenhouses a little bit. The front ones oh, excess is just on the floor unfortunately. If we go out a cab, it saves me making so much mess. Because I don't want to spend too much time doing this. Yeah, our front ones fill from the manure pile automatically. They're just close enough. And that wasn't an intentional thing, that just accidentally happened as we placed. But the back ones need topping up every now and then. I have put what was left of our big bags of seed. That is also in the back three uh, greenhouses. Not that they were getting short, they, they all have well over a thousand litres of seed, which is uh, quite a lot for these greenhouses. It seemed to last a while. So uh, eventually we're going to need to buy some more seeds and stock up the front ones and top up the back. I thought we'd just come and do this. We haven't been up here for a while and it needs to be maintained and then once we've done this we'll see what sort of quantities of strawberries we've got in stock because we can sell a ton of that as well I should imagine. So there we go, we started to uh, put a mess on the floor. Scoop that up and see if that'll go in the middle one as well. Probably not all of it, but some of it will. Well, took it. No, didn't take it all. <laughs> there we are. Alright, let's just check how much we've got strawberries wise. Might be due another big. The uh, thing is, we're going to be so busy with harvests now that these strawberries are just going to stockpile. Because once we've got the harvest in, we need to get all the straw in so we can get our cows nice and comfortable. But again, we're up to 200,000 litres, so there's a lot. Right, I'll put the Massey away, and we shall go and decide on what harvester to use, because I've not even looked into it yet. Not even looked. And our harvester of choice is the Rostal Mash RSM161. This is a mod that was added by Giants, so I always consider it to be some content that they decided to leave out of release. And uh, it comes with a Draper Stream 900, which is handy because it's, it's got its own little pulley trailer. So let's jump in. Hopefully, with this being a Giants mod, it's going to alleviate all the issues I have with <laughs> my mod choices and just be good and work. See, no reason why it shouldn't. Now our only thing is going to be, which field do we go for first? I'm thinking we try and tackle the big one, let's try and get around here, near our farm first. We'll go for that one and then we'll uh, head out to the barley field opposite our uh, brewery. Because then I think we'll, or should we go to the bre opposite brewery first and just fill up the brewery as we harvest. I think that's what we're going to do. We'll head to the brewery, do that field. We can then, as we bring it in off the field, rather than taking it to our silo, we can unload it straight into the brewery and get back to make beer. And then afterwards we'll come and we'll do this one. And this one can then go into our silo and then uh, take it out to the brewery as and when required. That is going to be the plan. 
stand. Let's see if we can start getting this open. Thank you, Mr. Car, for not driving into me. Quite often they do. So, right, let's back that up a little. We'll lose a bit of crop there. Probably going to lose a little bit of crop as I back up again. Perhaps we're going to have to take out more trees around here. Try not to destroy too much, we'll just, just naff the corner up. That's absolutely fine. We can live with a little corner missing. After all, we uh, we drove our tram lines in this one with our tractor as a deliberate thing for aesthetics because we put tram lines in our other fields and this one just just didn't have because it was a computer done. An AI, an AI field beforehand. A computer done. What am I talking about? Right, show my age when I say stuff like that. Anyway, let's get stuck into it, no messing about. Last time out we were... Ooh, what's going on here? Getting a little bit, a bit of drift. Now this is the header for this tractor, so why is it giving us so much drift? Strange. Look at that. And again, what's going on? Why am I having such bad luck with all my f nearly swore all my mod choices at the minute? What is going on? Okay, so I've been out and I've removed the REA22 physics mods because that might be, I'm thinking that might be, I'm hoping that might be what's causing the issues here. I like them, but I think they do cause too many issues at the minute. It's nice to have the, the realistic weights of things and the physics of the balance and stuff but sometimes it is a little off the stability of some of the vehicles is horrific with it running and we have had vehicles drop through the mesh because of it so yeah we're running absolutely fine now so maybe that might not be used perhaps perhaps that needs a little update itself I didn't think it would be the harvester, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's not the harvester because, in all honesty, I am getting beyond fed up of uh, picking out mods and equipment and stuff that just really isn't doing the job it's supposed to do. And it's not all down to the uh, the real physics mod, the the wood chipper last episode <laughs> that had nothing to do with the the physics mod as to why that wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. It just wasn't the best conversion. But anyway, this is supposed to be a good time and a happy time because we're getting a harvest in it. Everyone loves a good harvest. I'm really hopeful <laughs> that I'm going to be able to get one looped headland in uh, before an unload because I'm going round the wrong way. I've got my pipe into the field. Anyway, let's use this opportunity to say hello, welcome, thank you for coming back and joining me. I hope you're all well. Um, I think I, s I forgot to do my little politeness last episode. So yeah, I hope you're all well, enjoying what you're doing, enjoying your farm, enjoying your trucking, all that goodness. Have you used the new Valtra tractors yet? I haven't even looked at them myself, haven't had the time, haven't had the chance. Probably by the time this comes out. They will be considered new. I haven't edited the last video yet, so I don't know if the audio is okay or not. So it'll probably be after this one that we'll know. I just wanted to get some some uh, some episodes recorded and ready to go again because we we missed a few days over the weekend or weekend just gone uh, because of technical issues 
and I don't like doing that. We don't miss it. I think it's or it was um, the Stone Valley series, which is a shame because it's going really well. And we lost a Euro truck. Um, we haven't lost the episodes. Uh, Stone Valley, I just haven't had the time to edit it. It was recorded, I just haven't had the time to edit. And Euro Truck, I, I didn't think it would hurt if we'd missed it and didn't rush stuff. So I, I, just, I still, even now, have a lot of stuff to reinstall and do on my PC for having to uh, set it all back to box thanks to a motherboard update. Couldn't believe it. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that because that'll just get me ranting. <laughs> more and more than I normally do. But I yield, as I like to say, I yield is looking reasonably good and I'm glad I got that right because it's nice and green on there so it's, uh, it's a well done field for us. Now since I don't think we're going to get all the way across, so I'll probably turn around, start heading down for a, and then uh, get a little unload on the way. I'm hoping that we can get uh, both of these barley fields done today. We did get up early for that purpose. Admittedly I did then go and faff about with my greenhouses but they just needed a little bit of attention. It's been a while since I've been over there and when we have people that come in sort of part way through as they do they don't know that we've got that going on. So it's nice to just show that, and so they can see that this is what else we have. The same as uh, if you came from last episode to this episode, I believe we've we've got about a hundred grand. We got that hundred grand from milk sales, which once we uh, once we stop here, I'll just bring that up, just so you can see that that's where it's come from. Because I do like to uh, to show where the money's come from. So here in the financials, you see made 70 grand profit on everything else so milk sold through the whole of may and then this morning that's your 70 80 96 so it's nearly 100 grand like i say is uh that's where that money has come from lovely job and our tractor of choice today for carton is the uh, new holland t7 and obviously we're going to be using our tr190 farmer trailer to bring that in and just get that over the road. We won't be using the uh, Fiat for that. We'll probably use the Fiat when we do larger sales. It holds about 10,000 litres more than this one, maybe a bit more. And maybe twice as much actually, I think it's nearly 40,000 whereas it's just like 20, 20, 21,000 maybe. I think that's only a silage, this might only be about 16,000 for uh, grain. Anyway, this is our setup that we are using. And while I'm uh, while I'm in the T7, ask a few questions for those of you who are interested, or, or maybe who aren't. When it comes to your mod tractors, who is your go-to guy? Because I always get torn. Although to be fair, I generally download both pies because STV Modern and Blue Blau, however they like it to be pronounced. As a rule, put out mods for similar tractors with similar customizations and things like that, and they're both exceptionally good. Do you download uh, both modders tractors when they get released, or do you do you have a favourite? Do you do you go with Blau? Do you go with STV? Do you go with uh, someone else? Someone else that does a lot of my tractor mods come from those two guys or people, girls, they could be anything, they could be a group of people. I shouldn't assume. But anyway, yeah, they are my top tractor go to's. Especially when it comes to say Case and uh, New Holland. They tend to do a lot of those ones. Yeah. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Who do you go to? We'll, uh, we'll try and get some more of this in. I don't want to jump to a time. I'm, I'm trying to think, hmm, what should we do? Time lapse this or. Because we've got the two fields. I want to get two fields done. I think if one we do some jump cut and chat, the other one we do a nice little time lapse on, I think that would 
work better for us. Better for me, anyway. After all, I'm the one that's doing it. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of uh, some other things that maybe have been going on in the farm sim world. The the expansion, I can't say the expansion, the DLC for the, the platinum stuff that can't be far away, I don't think, at this point. I haven't got the uh, release date down in front of me. Uh, people have asked uh, if I'll do a, like a map review for that when it comes out. Uh, generally, <laughs> so people have said they like my honest opinion on it. I'm not sure if I've said this before, but they like my honest opinion on, on mods and maps and stuff like that. Because I am pretty, pretty blatant and blunt about stuff, and it's, it's, a few people have said they'd be interested to see what I think of it being that it's a login map, and I'm not massive on login, and uh, yeah, that sort of thing. So I might do that. I haven't, once again, just haven't had the time to do a lot of map reviews lately. I'd like to. I'd like to do more map reviews. I'd like to do more mod reviews. And if I did more mod reviews, I'd find out which ones actually bloody worked properly, and which ones I'm just think, oh, that looked really good. Let's get that in the game, and then it doesn't. Uh, so yeah, I would. If I had the time, I would do that. But again, this isn't. Not yet. This isn't like a full-time job. This is. I do this at night <laughs> in the evenings. When the, when the kids are asleep, when the missus is at work, you know, when the missus has gone to bed, so... I have to try and fit everything around that sort of schedule. Getting some lagging in. I haven't... <laughs> haven't been around and uh, de-lagged the map completely. I, I, I forgot about it, I'm gonna lie, I forgot about it as I came in today. Uh, when I went out last episode, I, I ran around our farm and... <laughs> Delagged it. It's, it's all about loading in the shaders or something. Uh, so, yeah, but I forgot, forgot that we were going out and venturing further than I'd been, so that's not all loaded in yet. So, as we travel around this field, possibly the next field, and the brewery, we might, might get hit with a little bit of stuttering, so I do apologise for that. It's just one of those things, whenever, whenever the game gets an update anyway, it gets. <laughs> its, its shaders are all reset, and you have to get them all loaded into your map. And on top of that, I just recently reinstalled everything and moved files over, so they all got reset and done. So there's a excuse me, there's a lot of remembering going on in the background. I hate to to constantly break the fourth wall of this is <laughs> this is a game, but this is a game, and I just want you to know that that's why we get these issues sometimes. I wish we didn't. My god, I wish we didn't. I've said it enough times as well. I don't have this issue with any other game when it gets an update or when when content gets added to it. The game doesn't turn, turn to utter Shiite for the first two hours of play. Right, hopefully we're going to get up and get this in. So I think we'll probably do the harvests. We'll do this, these two field harvests. And then we'll, uh, we'll come and probably uh, wagon the straw. We'll wagon the straw off the off the other field first. That's a larger field, I believe. And we'll use that to go in for bedding for both cattle sheds. And then we'll probably then use this one to fill uh, the TMR mixers. It'll probably take more than this. So it'll be this one and probably the next field as well to fill both TMR mixes up with uh, straw. And then when we do our wheat, we've got the, the small wheat field and our massive field back at the farm. That's all wheat. Those ones will bale up and we'll keep them in storage. So I might purchase or lease a square baler for that just because it'll be quicker and probably easier than our round baler. Plus, we'll get to look at something different again. And I do like to try and add something different in to our episodes. Where I can. And uh, we seem to have the money to uh, be able to afford to do that. Sorry, I'm abusing that hedge. We didn't put uh, a headland in at the up, up, up here, so uh, 
that's happening. That is happening. So yeah, that's that's my plan for the coming episodes. Hate to, hate to spoil it for you. Spoiler alert: we've we've got uh, harvests and bales to do. But yeah, hopefully they'll go well. We may chuck a few other things in there. You never know. You really don't want me. I can decide. I'm just going to suddenly do something else, and off we go. But we want to try and get our brewery up and running because that is now a big part of our farm as well as our dairy is our brewery so we'll get this one unloaded and then I'll probably way quick rolling I'll probably jump to another unload further along and uh, catch up with you guys that unload actually gave us a full trailer of uh, 20 odd thousand litres this turn and angle's a bit tight. Go on, get you round in the bush. <laughs> so we'll uh, get this. So I was just checking the indicators. Uh, we'll get this loaded into our brewery. I think we're down on the next stop anyway. There was me worried about my brakes. <laughs> we're on the next one. There we go. Indicator's gone a bit a bit funny on this wheel. If you follow my ETS, you'll know that I've already been having issues with that. But I think it just needs to be taken to bits and given a right good clean. Bit of sweat in the likes in there. Yeah. Anyway, let's get this uh, in here. Then we should be able to uh, boot up the brewery again. So as that's going in, we'll uh, hit up the manager, and we have we got wheat in there. We've got plenty of water, so it's barley, honey, and strawberries. So we can go to our honey and activate go with strawberries. Activate. So hmm, it's about halfway full already, isn't it? So we will turn barley bear on as well. Barley bear sounds like an actual name of a teddy bear. And when we get our wheat in, we'll bring some of the wheat in here and we'll make wheat bear as well. But the wheat will uh, go in to feed our chickens and we'll have to store some of that as well because, much like on Ube, our chickens keep getting starved. Isn't good. Right, let's get back to the harvest. It's now two o'clock and we're about to get our second full load off here and looking at it I'd say we've still got another probably another 15,000 litres so uh, we've still got quite a bit of work to do as, as often is the case I think the field is deceptively larger than I uh, remembered it being but that's why we brought it. We wanted a nice big field. We wanted a good stockpile of barley so we can get it in our silo and try and grow some other crops as well. So we can maybe have these two as our continuous barley fields. And our other big field can be something else. We've got two really big fields that can be uh, like profit crops. One of them could just be wheat. And again, one of them can then be a profit crop because we're going to put the small field back to uh, meadow and merge that with one of our other meadows so there's still lots of sorry if you can hear that my uh, audio cable is uh, <laughs> rubbing on my wheel sorry about that um, so yeah we saw it so we've got things to uh, to be doing I'm not sure not certain I'm not sure and I'm not certain I'm not sure and we uh, if we're gonna have enough time to get the other field fully harvested but we'll give it a good crack even if we have to work a little bit late things are going well it's nice to have a have a relaxing harvest especially now now that it's all working well and we haven't got to worry about anything going wrong <laughs> touch wood right let's get this in here Then we'll uh, we'll jump back to the harvester and we'll try and get the rest of that field done. It's probably going to be easily four o'clock by the time that's done. 
And that is full. We have a full brewery for barley. That's brilliant. Never been a thing yet. Well, it's just gone four o'clock and uh, I went far out. We've still got a little bit left to harvest here. I'm going to have to come back up to uh, finish this off. It's just a little bit too wide for my header. But the shape of the field is a little bit off, so we do have a bend in it. So once we've done this, I am going to head over to the other field because we should have a little extra daylight. It is summer, it's due. So I'm hoping we can actually work till around about half past seven, maybe eight o'clock. If we're lucky, if we're good, we can stay out late. And at least get the headland put in on the other field and then we can come back tomorrow and just just blitz the harvest on that one and uh, hopefully get started on some load of wagon of straw. Sorry, I'm about to lose my voice. To see, uh, I think that's going to be too wide for me as well, which is a little bit annoying. take a little bit off the bottom here. Let's see if we can get it to the width <laughs> we want to work. To be fair I can probably turn the swaft off as well. I think that's what I've just done. We'll see as it goes down. No, oh, is that not the uh There it is. We just have to remember to put it back on when we get to the other end. But yeah, we have unloaded once. We've got 10, nearly 11,000 litres in there probably. We've got another, we're going to get at least another six here, I should imagine. So, a good guesstimation of how much more in the field. Uh, gold star for me. And anyone else who agreed with me at the time. I do quite like these Rostel mashers. Rostel mash, is that? Is that Polish or Russian or... Is it German? It could be German. It's cracking up some speed there, weren't it? Isn't that engine wine? Right, let's get this bit. We'll undo our unload. Okay, that should be set to uh, drop swath again now. Turn that off. Right, so we'll get this unloaded. We shall then uh, have to. Where are we? Empty this into the silo. Hopefully, we'll have enough time to uh, get started on the other harvest. It's nearly five o'clock. Day just goes. It's great though. It's been a, been a good harvest. I'm just not sure how much of it I allotted for video. So I've got everything over. Just get that folded up again. I thought it'd be easier to uh, attach out here than trying to get in position in the field. Tractor is with us. And I want to try and see if I can get a double headland in at least uh, before we have to call it a day. Our swaft is there, which is good. Yeah, I want to give myself a little bit more room than I had on the last field because, well, I just didn't have enough room. It's sort of that simple. And we've got a few more trees on this one. It's going to be tight in places. Now at some point, this field, if you have a look over there, some of them trees are going to get chop chop. Just, uh, I mean, we've got a lot around here. We can take out some of the trees, make a little bit of money there, and give me a bit of space to uh, manoeuvre myself and even extend the field. It's easier to negotiate if you're up against the fence or the wall than it is with the tree line. Because uh, if we use a worker and whatnot, the, uh, the worker sort of back and forth in between where trees clip and where they don't. 
we have a wall or a fence, they don't do that so much. They just have a more of a flat road to work with. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and we're going to try and smash through a double headland before we have to uh, call it a night. So off the double headland we've got 18, over 18,000 litres at 89% capacity for the trailer so we'll get this emptied. Try not to smash the Rosa. The Rostor Marsh. 7 o'clock and I'm torn. I'm torn whether to try and carry on because I know we've got daylight. But that risks making a really long episode and I'm trying to stay clear of that. Whereas we can come back tomorrow, smash out that barley, get that put away. Our barley field isn't going to be ready until late June, so it gives us then the rest of the day to try and get the straw in to look after the cows. I think that might be uh, that might be the way to do it. We will just get everything in position, so then in the morning we just get right back on it. Nothing else needs to be managed. The greenhouses are fine. We did that so that we can concentrate on this for a few days. The brewery is all set up and running. We got the barley in there. Not sure how long that twenty thousand, no forty thousand liters of barley is going to last. So uh, once we've got the uh, the full harvest of barley in probably uh, check on it and drop off some more but that is going to be it for today's episode hopefully it's uh, gone together well let's just turn the engines off to want the uh, fuel wasting overnight yeah hopefully it's gone well hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn your bell notification on find out when new videos go live as always comments and feedback down there how do you feel about turning off the remods? Uh, do you, if you use the remods, do you have many issues with it? Let me know. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.